Hello everyone. Welcome back. I finally was able to get a video up. Um, this is just a, I guess, a regular little leather hip bag project that I started. And at first, I was using very like basic tools because I was waiting for the leather toolkit to come in the mail. But since everyone's out of quarantine, it took longer than expected. But in the meantime, I really wanted to get started on this project, so I just grabbed whatever tools I had in the garage and made it work until the specialty tools came in later on. And I was able to get a lot done. Um, I got this pattern from Diesel Punk Row. Check him out. He has awesome leather patterns, patterns on Etsy. Very, very reasonable price and worth it. Um, I also want to note, while I guess a lot of leather workers use masking tape, I didn't prefer it that much. The next time I'll do a project, a leather project, I'll just use clear packaging tape instead because I, I, it was hard for me to see, especially against like the black leather when I was cutting it out. So for me personally, I'll just use clear tape next time. But for the most part, it worked out fine. And I also use a combination of like scissors and an exacto knife to cut it out. And that worked fine as well. I didn't have all the fancy tools to do all the tight corners and everything. As I always say, just do whatever you have to do to make it work, you know, just to get the job done. As long as you do the job right, of course. Just punching out the holes pretty much what you're always going to do. Oh, later on in the video, you will see how I was using a safety pin uh, later on to punch out the holes. Um, because that, I don't want to really call it all, but I guess it's the all that I had that I used for my automotive work. It was just not working out. It just, it, it, it was harder than it needed to be. So I used a safety pin until the special leather working tools came in the mail and it, I mean it worked out fine my hand hurt because <laughs> it was hard to use a safety pin on hard like five ounce leather but I made it work like I always do and I used a little thimble to help save my thumb from um, hurting and being sore I didn't have again that oblong tool the long tool to punch out slots for whatever for key rings or belt buckle so I ended up just using the leather punch and punched it all the way down to make that cutout that you see right there I mean it's not the best but it worked and then after the fact I went through with a pair of scissors and exacto knife and cleaned up the inside of it as best as I could so it looks almost like I had that specialty like professional tool that the leather workers use you know? but I do want to say that unfortunately a lot of footage was lost since I used like my fancy phone and the battery only lasts for like an hour or so when you're recording or even less than that like 45 minutes and so a lot of times the phone had turned off while I was recording and I didn't even know it and I kept on working because I was in the moment and then I looked back and noticed that my fancy phone was dead and that all the footage was lost because I guess when it dies like that the video gets corrupted and it doesn't save it so there's a lot of steps in this process that I wasn't able to capture but you should be able to follow along, you know, and figure it out. You guys are smart. You can figure it out, I guess. And I, I kind of edited the video so it should be easy to see what I did after the fact, even though I wasn't able to record the process of me doing it. It's very basic, like just cut out a hole and then put a rivet in it. So you really didn't miss out on that much. Um, from here on out, I guess just enjoy some...
see the only thing I would change differently if I was to do this again which I probably will I will use vegetable tan leather instead of this chrome hide I didn't know the difference between the two when I picked them up and I assumed that I was picking up vegetable tan leather and not chrome hide which I found out later on and the reason why I wanted vegetable tan is because you can burnish the edges easier and it holds I guess that burnish better from what I was researching and overall it just looks really 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 good when the edges are nice and waxed over instead of just left raw like I had to do with this particular type of leather it wasn't taken very well to the beeswax that I had so I just gave up on and just left all the edges basic alright everyone I'm ending towards the end of the build it's pretty much done I had to make some little belt loops by hand which was easy just cut out a little piece of leather and then make two stitches in it um, so that was easy this was a super duper fun project and I cannot wait to make more leather projects I want to learn how to make my own pattern so I can make my own stuff because I have a lot of really cool ideas and designs I've been wanting to do for, for years, literally. Um, it fits super nice. It looks badass and I just, I love it. <laughs> I've been wearing it like nonstop. Whenever, well, whenever I go out to get groceries since we can't leave the house for anything. Right now, COVID-19. Uh. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, it came out looking really, really cool. And I made a leather face mask as well because germs and viruses and all that good stuff. And that video should hopefully be up maybe next week if I get a chance to finish editing. Because editing is pretty damn hard. That's like the most time consuming part. Yeah, but these are all the pictures of it on me and how it sits and fits really nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed everything, and stay tuned, of course, for more projects. Have a good one, everyone. Um, ciao. Bye for now.